Nobody talks about that. You'll get a better result in most cases if you select lines for the top and bottom pattern instead of concentric. Look at the quality of the infills. I'm very happy with my uh, current settings. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Daniel. Three weeks ago, I got my first 3D printer ever. Like I am so excited. And so far I posted two videos. One on the assembly and the instructions. And a second video on the parts that you can print to optimize and enhance your printer. In the past three weeks, I did a lot of testing. Believe me, I am very technical. This is my first 3D printer. I had a lot to learn. I printed like so far two chess sets. I like chess very, very much. I tested different colors and I'm printing right now a big board. The, each square is uh, 60 by, uh, uh, yeah, 60 by 60 millimeters. So I want to share with you my settings because before I bought the printer, I did a lot of research on the internet and um, none of the videos I watch talk about a very important setting that you will find only in the expert settings and that is the top and bottom pattern you can select lines concentric or zigzag and it makes a huge difference on the uh, on the layer on the top layer and the look of your parts or pieces so let's go to my computer and i'm going to show you my current settings and these uh, special settings in the expert menu as you can see i'm using cura for my slicing software and i'm doing here pieces of a chess board uh, just for fun so the first thing you want to do is go to uh, settings make sure you have uh, ender for your printer the ender 3 and in profile select normal the 0.15 millimeter i'll talk more about that in a few seconds now i have normal 6 that i want to show you these are my uh, settings now what you want to do also is click on the uh, on the menu right there and select expert because a couple of things I want to show you are not available even in the advanced mode so so click on expert now for quality I think that 0.15 works very well I did a lot of testing and 0.1 0.06 do not work well I don't think the ender actually is designed to handle that uh, low uh, uh, or high resolution so 0.15 works well for the wall thickness I uh, try different thicknesses and 1.2 works well normally but for some color like I used the uh, red 0.12 we could see through so I used a bit more the same with the top and bottom thickness I'm using 0.6 but for red I was using 0.9 because we could see through the bottom and the top of the parts now this is something that most people don't talk about and I did a lot of research before I bought the printer. Uh, I find that for a good finish, especially at the top, I get a better result with lines. And by default, you get concentric. So I suggest that you change this to lines. But for the bottom pattern, you can keep uh, concentric. It gives a nice uh, finish at the bottom of your part. Now going down here, I did not change uh, these uh, settings. Now looking at the infill, I think 20% works perfectly. I think 30 is a bit too much and 10 is uh, too little on the big part. So 20 is good. And for a pattern, I use grid. Uh, you will get triangles by default in some modes, but I find that uh, grid doesn't move the head as much. So I think I'm going to save on wear and tear by using the uh, grid mode. 10% is fine also there. Now for the material, they say for PLA to use 200 degrees for the nozzle and 60 for the uh, the print head. Uh, sorry, for the heated bed. But I find that for the first layer, you should use 70 degrees. You'll get a better adhesion at 70 than 60. And the rest of the settings over here are, are default so I did not change that for the speed 
If you have a part that has a lot of sharp edges, I recommend 50. You get a better finish on the part. But in this case, as you can see here, uh, I don't have like sharp edges. I'm using 60 to save time because if you put 50, look at the, uh, the print time. It will go from 4 hours and 39 minutes to 5 hours and 15 minutes. So in this case here, I can use 60. Now going down, I did not change uh, all of these settings here or the default, like the jerk also is default. You don't want to increase that too much because they say that it will uh, affect the print quality. Now for cooling, these are uh, default settings. I did not change anything. For support, obviously, as you can see, for these parts, I don't need the support. For the uh, build plate adhesion, I don't need a raft, obviously, here. Again, there is a lot of footprint, but I use a skirt because I want to prime, of course, the nozzle uh, with the filament, but the default is four lines. And this is too big. I'm printing four squares at the same time. So that's a waste of plastic. So I'm using two instead of four. So that's something you should do in some cases. There is no need to go around the parts for four times. These are the special modes that are um, quite cool, but I'm not using here like a mold. You can print a mold of your part. I think that's very cool. And you have a section for experimental, which I have not experimented with yet. But you have some cool uh, stuff here, like a tree support, different kind of support that may work for your part. You can also have uh, cool stuff like this spaghetti uh, fill or a fuzzy skin, if that works for you. Uh, you can have an, a, an outside skin that is a bit uh, fuzzy. So these are my settings. And like I said at the beginning, I did a lot of testing. I printed a lot of parts. So guys, these are my settings. So by all means, do your own testing. But like I said, I've, I found a huge difference in the quality of the top of my pieces using lines instead of concentric in the top and the bottom pattern. Again, you only see that in the expert menu. So thank you for watching, guys. As always, if you have any questions, put them down below. I'll be happy to get back to you as soon as I can. Have a great day. Goodbye.